Governor Phil Murphy continues his tour of storm-ravaged communities in New Jersey. It was a historic storm by any measure. You had in an hour or two months worth of rain. We have to accept, sadly, that's the new norm. Sunday, the governor viewed Lodi's washed-out Main Street Bridge over the swollen Saddle River. Homes and businesses destroyed here, a scene repeated across the state. President Joe Biden expected in Manville Tuesday, a scene of devastation. Air 11 over the flooding and fires on Friday. Clearly, federal help uh, is going to be topic number one. Uh, we were very fortunate to almost instantly get the federal emergency declaration approved by, and signed by the president. We got equipment from the president. We got an expedited review from FEMA. And government money badly needed in Hasbrook Heights. Flood water destroyed the foundations of homes on Kip Avenue. Driveways buckled and sinkholes formed in backyards. The homes now unsafe to live in. We just found out today that the insurance is not going to cover it. Um, so we're kind of just waiting for any kind of assistance from the town. Um, we haven't heard from them at all. Back in Lodi, the Boys and Girls Club cleaning up its gym and basement. It's expected to be closed for weeks, shuttering its after-school program. Parents that are working that need the care aren't going to get it when they expected to get it, which is, you know, heartbreaking. And you're taking a live look at the Boys and Girls Club of Lodi. It is right next to the Saddle River. And you can still see the debris from the flooding. You have leaves, you have mud, you can smell the rot over here, plus the bridge that connects Passaic Avenue to the other side. That remains closed. You've seen a lot of people have to take a detour. So uh, this federal funding, the president declaring a major disaster, that's going to go to people in multiple counties throughout New Jersey. It's going to go to people in Bergen, Gloucester, Hunterdon, Middlesex, Passaic, and Somerset counties. As for the governor of New Jersey, he is expected in Lambertville a little bit later on this morning, continuing his tour of these damaged communities.